Hi everyone, if you have your ascendant, sun or moon in Libra, then this is the October 2018 reading for you. I would like to thank you for subscribing, for commenting and for liking my videos. I very much appreciate hearing back from you because that's the most gratifying part of doing this. Uh, to hear back, to see if this helped anybody or if any part of the reading personally related to you. Uh, so moving forward, I would first like to wish my Libra son a very happy birthday. Hope you're having a great start of your solar year. This is a very, very empowering month. Um, uh, in terms of the format, I would st just give a brief of the month to start with. And then we'll dig in as usual uh, by date and uh, by key transits. And I'll walk you through how to use the energies offered by those transits for your benefit. So as a summary, this month is all about deepening your self-love and to deepen your pockets, <laughs> to deepen your resources, to optimize your resources. There's a lot of focus on your financial resources and physical resources, which means your diet and your food. Uh, this month, Venus, your ruler, is going retrograde, which will create a month-long uh, a 40 day to be exact long period of relooking at your resources and how you present yourself to the world this is going to be a very empowering exercise you will come out out of this in november with much much stronger sense of what you truly want and how to go after that uh, this is very much about realizing your power this is a very powerful month in itself um, as i mentioned in the last month's reading from november onwards the nodes are moving into your career sector so you are looking to move towards the height of your career over the next two years and all the transits from now till 6th of november are there to support that exercise or to support your self-worth your confidence in yourself you would already be feeling this inner confidence coming back this inner energy coming back to push forward with your projects to push forward with giving yourself the requisite place that you deserve at work and at home um, retrograde might bring out some old situations coming back to review that's just part of a regular retrograde but possibility is especially the new moon that's happening on night there's a possibility of something coming to light which highlights that your self-doubt your own lack of surety confidence in yourself is the only thing that was holding you back because this is the month of finally releasing everything that you need to release to prepare yourself for the nodal shift in november so your uh, you can realize and start walking on the path that you were meant to come for nodes are karmic path they put you in an accelerated path towards the goals that you came here to realize so um, this is a preparation for that this is very much will show you how powerful you are and how you were just holding yourself back internally uh, in coming out with your true colors with your full colors with your full strength uh, this is about clearing any blockages in terms of uh, getting there so let's start um, at the start of the month as we enter the month you just had an Aries full moon so there's a bit of a push and a pull because there has been focus on your partnership over the last uh, one and a half week uh, your loved one or your business partner or your marriage partner suddenly needed some of your energy and attention a light was thrown there uh, last week of uh, of september which might have uh, been asking for both your energy and attention and also something might have come to light uh, on how to balance the push and the pull of focus on yourself because this is your season there's going to be focus on yourself and how to focus on your love life your uh, relationships and your business partnerships so the people who contribute actively to your life how to balance their needs and your need that's where you start the month uh, pluto has just gone direct pluto is a power center it is sitting in your fourth house in your family house it's creating an internal power play it's creating a very strong physical and emotional um, 
power center inside you uh, when pluto is just going direct 31st of october is when it is going direct you would be feeling that very strongly as the month starts this is internal power it physically puts pressure on your solar plexus because it wants you to truly realize your strength internally it wants to empower you it wants to um, show where you are supposed to be uh, so it's a very healing very therapeutic yet very physically taxing process that you might be undergoing as the month starts and as uh, this intensity this depth is being felt internally it comes to surface on 3rd of october with mercury the planet of communication and commerce meeting this power center in a hard aspect called square when two planets meet in a square aspect that's an opportunity for us to realize so what is the opportunity here the opportunity is to not have an internal explosion but rather come out with what you have been thinking about what you have been truly uh, suffering internally bringing it out to the surface instead of exploding inside this is uh, this is this transit is telling you you don't need to keep this uh this power this emotions inside you and hurt yourself instead you need an outlet a square needs an outlet a square needs a voice and you have that voice this month because mercury the planet of communication is in your sign it's empowering you to speak up uh, now who are you speaking up to this is very much possible an authority figure whether at work or at home high possibility that this is at home um uh, this could be a female um uh, who's a control center in your home could be your wife could be your mother uh, but this is about you not holding the emotions in anymore you are the sign which symbolizes balance and diplomacy but sometimes we might be compromising our own truth way too much because we are able to see both sides and we are trying to balance both sides when pluto touches our personal planets it asks us to take a side and it's usually your side it's about not uh, compromising yourself anymore um, and mercury is still in your sign so the outpouring or the discussion that you're going to have hopefully that is in a very balanced and diplomatic way because the planet of expression is still sitting in that sign this is definitely going to color the first week for you you'll see some power plays happening either at work or at home specifically with a female figure and you might feel a little bit of an itch to say what you need to say uh, just remember that you are you you are the personification of diplomacy and charm uh, that's your strength so use that and but say your truth stray say your truth because when pluto uh, gives you an outpouring gives you an outlet and you don't do it it hurts your health it causes uh, this is what holding emotions inside is what causes diseases so this is very important for you to give yourself a voice during this time moon is also opposing pluto this uh, this time so there'll be internal motivation uh, there'll be an internal questioning happening asking you what truly motivates you at work what truly motivates you to feel comfortable at work those questions will also emotionally coming to you this review exercise does not stop there because on 5th of october your ruler venus will be going retrograde when venus is just taking its turn to go retrograde retrograde means that the planet appears to move backward from the point view point of view of earth and that is the time when planets is really really strong so first week of october venus is extremely strong what does that mean 
there's a lot of focus on venusian themes there's a lot of focus on relationships there's a lot of focus on your resources and that focus will continue for 40 days for you to realize what your true self worth and net worth is maybe you're not getting paid what you should be paid maybe you're not being given the respect that you should be given maybe you are not valuing yourself as much as you should maybe you're holding on to some material possessions that you truly don't need and they are weighing you down a physical possessions do weigh us down a clutter weighs us down uh, so you might be reviewing all of this to create an authentic life for you venus is in scorpio it's all about creating authenticity it's not about how it looks because it's not going to look good when it happens venus in scorpio is not about looking good it's about being honest it's about creating true healing for you it's about coming to your true power scorpio is a power sign it's a financially powerful a uh, ambitious sign so you feel this when your ruler is, is in that sign in your financial house you feel this power inside you to reach out to get what you deserve to reach out the financial abundance that you deserve venus is a benefic planet it wants to ultimately create financial abundance for you uh, so the the aim of the cycle especially in november when it goes direct is to yield gifts for you is to is to yield financial abundance for you and venus is not working alone jupiter this year has been in your financial sector as well so when jupiter was retrograde you have already gone through this mental exercise of realizing what, what this inkling that i should be more i should be more financially i should be more in terms of putting myself first i should be more in terms of not compromising my true self uh in terms of your self care and your self love uh are you seeing the other side too much and compromising yourself no more of that no more of that because nodes are going to move to 10th house all light all power is going to be on you you need to be coming into your full power and full potential right now This is also about how you present yourself because Venus rules you your physical being so it's about how do i come across to people am i coming across a kind of person who can be taken advantage of am i coming across somebody who can be compromised on so this is about creating a power image as well for yourself your personal power this is a very regenerative exercise i speak about venus retrograde in detail uh, in the separate video uh, i'll provide the link below as well as you can see the link uh, blank above uh, you can take a look this is the most important transit for you because venus is your ruler uh venus going retrograde uh being coming closest to earth and affecting all of your persona and your financial resources is the most important thing that you uh that color this month uh so i've spoken about it in detail because otherwise that's all we would be talking about in this reading uh you'll feel this very very strongly a day or two ahead especially of 5th of october when you are having that power surge uh verbally or mentally Venus rules our feelings our, our heart chakra so it would clearly ask you to discriminate between what you love and what you don't and ask you to separate by the end of the month from what you truly don't love and value but Venus rules our feelings Mercury rules our intelligent mind Mercury is also very very active this month and making very important aspects which is what i like to talk about as well mercury will be making a a creative aspect to saturn and also making a semi sextile with jupiter around 5th and 6th of october this is a day when a communication with somebody in your immediate environment could give you a creative thought process on how you can create more wealth for you what is the true wealth uh, that you deserve or maybe your rates uh, maybe just pure f- information on what your rates should be if you are in some professional work and your rates are not up to the market rates it will give you an information an important piece of information that will help you in progress further jupiter is also in your financial resources house house uh, so it is bringing new financial opportunities to you it is gone out of retrograde so now uh, now it's actually bringing some new 
opportunities that you have not seen before coming your way and mercury is helping you analyze those this is a very disciplined time uh, 5th 6th and even 7th of october when you can clearly analyze these opportunity venus retrograde is not the time to make a huge investment because a planet that rules how uh, how we determine value of something is not moving how it should uh, so you may not know the true value of what you're buying or you may not know the true value of a stock or a asset that you're buying so it's not suggested to make a big financial commitment during this time but venus retrograde is a great ideation time it's a great time to review your existing contracts re-rate what you're charging re-rate your uh, reconsider your existing financial commitments and get them to the level they should be so 5th to 7th 8th of october excellent time for you to review your existing contracts and bring them to market value this is also a time when venus is making creative aspects to your uh, uh, your work sector neptune is sitting in your work sector and it's giving you some creative ideas on how you could be financially more abundant uh, so i would use this time for ideation i would use this time to immerse myself in some creative project that in time can yield a lot of value to you going forward 7th of october is when sun is making an in conjunction to neptune which means that it's asking you to find practical ways to implement these uh, these creative ideas that you're getting it wants you to figure out how feasible are these and how to bring them in reality out to the public it's also a time when saturn is in, in conjunction with nodes so this whole family versus ambitions this balance of family versus work again comes into focus uh, it also came into focus during the aries full moon this is the second time when it will be coming into your consciousness in conjunctions are challenges um, just because you're keeping them separate which means that you're keeping your work and your family life completely separate probably during this time which is what might be an issue it might serve you better to talk to your family about your ambitions because this is something that you're going after you are feeling empowered to go after it so bring your loved ones along with you in this journey is what my suggestion would be so last two weeks have been all about others and your interaction with others now on 9th of october you get a new moon in your sign we get one new moon every year in our sign and this is yours uh, when a new moon happens in our sign in our sign sun and moon come together to create something brand new for us uh, the effect of a new moon are usually for two two weeks but if you are born uh, around where the new moon degrees are the effect of far reaching cover over a year for you um, so this new moon is happening at 15 degree Libra so if you have any planets between 11 degree to 19 degree Libra which means if you are a Libra Sun born between 5th of October to 13th of October this has far reaching effect on you this have very long lasting effect on you um, you want to embody the power that you have experienced that's what happens when Sun comes in contact with the moon and pluto the planet of power is squaring it and hard aspecting it you're done realizing that mentally you're done realizing that internally you want to fully infuse it into your persona and that's what this new start is all about it will be marked with power struggle i'm not gonna lie to you uh, libra moon is normally all about what you stand for which is diplomacy uh, caring about others uh, thinking and staying neutral trying to see both sides of of a, of an argument and trying to stay objective in it all but when pluto the one-sided train hits it you want to be powerful in yourself or at least somebody around you is trying to have its way uh, has have their way and you don't want that to happen anymore you want to stand your ground during this new moon and have the new start the new beginning 
powered by your internal strength that you're feeling right now and move forward this can feel emotionally charged there's clear inner tension written all over this new moon uh, a normally very uh, soothing balanced harmonious moon in libra is now marked with power struggle so uh, use this to initiate or to start something that you've been holding yourself back from uh, wait a day or two to start something because uh, you want the moon to be a little bit visible so maybe around 11th or 12th would be a good time to make a new start but this is extremely empowering uh, you are combining the power of pluto with your diplomacy and balance i mean that's the best uh, outcome that anybody can expect from but it will also make you realize because uh, when pluto is there you have some deep realizations as well apart from the external display of this new powerful you you realize internally that the only person who was holding you back from becoming an authority figure was you I'm sorry to say that but that's the reality. Pluto is sitting in your private house in your inner world. So it's telling you that the only person who was stopping you from reaching the height of your career, the height of your strength, claiming your true worth was just you and your possibly your conditioning from your parents or from your family. So what you've been told from from birth on what you deserve and what you're worth was what was holding you back and you're trying to release that you're trying to create a completely different world for yourself which is leaving behind that limited belief system so apart from this hot and heavy aspect that uh, your new moon is making uh, there it's also making a fairly nice and creative uh, um, aspects as well for example it's making a quintile with not known this is you creatively imagining your hopes and dreams this is an excellent time to reach out to your networks you have spent last two years investing in creating the right networks the right friends group the right supporters for yourself so you can be propelled forward now is the time to tap into that to give you ideas to direct your life force where should you be putting your effort while this whole review exercise of your resources what you love what you value is going on tap into your networks to figure out what is the right direction for you to go where, where should you be investing your physical persona your life force and your resources do not try to please anybody right now there is no value in doing that i know uh, during your season you do feel like making it all very very harmonious and that people are interacting well with each other and socially things are very pleasant but this is new power to your persona do not spread yourself thin don't try to please people direct your life force your son to your purpose to your goals and tap into the resources the people who you have been investing in so far to ask them to gain their support to get creative ideas from them during this time sun is making also an in conjunction with neptune which is essentially telling you to not spread yourself too thin choose what uh, what what areas what do you want to focus on to direct this very powerful new moon this is a energy ball of a new moon you have a you'll feel a rush of energy in yourself don't dissolve yourself by spreading yourself to thin or using this energy to serve others this is all about you chiron is also moved into your work life so it's also about healing where you felt not so appreciated at work healing some health issues that you were facing this is creating a power routine for yourself during the day of the new moon on 9th of october you might feel physically drained just for that day so give yourself that day because neptune is making an in conjunction to sun during this time it can reduce the vitality and especially make you more susceptible to any chemical exposures that you might have if possible on 9th of october do not take any chemical exposure in form of pills or anything else that could drain you out um it's also the time when you'll be asked to release the emotion of fear you can feel it in your body around your shoulders and on your lower back when these two areas are paining you know that there is a lymphatic 
blockage in your body and that is caused by fear so it is about releasing that emotion physically from your body you can go and have an acupuncture session or just an energy healing session if it helps you or just focus on releasing the fears that have been holding you back uh, don't yet start anything wait out a day or two uh, when you feel physically more up to it uh, also do not make any bold steps in relationship and or like starting a new relationship somebody who you do not know at all could come into your consciousness uh, just after this new moon i'll tell you why because there are aspects which will support that kind of chemical reaction in terms of physically liking somebody instantly and falling in love uh, no bold a uh, reaction during this time because the ruler of this new moon is venus and that is retrograde so you will not know the true value of the person you're meeting right now when the planet that rules how we analyze value of something is retrograde we do not understand truly the value of what we are investing into especially if they have just come into your attention a new asset a new financial investment idea a new person who has just come into your power during this new moon is not what you want to suddenly go and commit to it's a great time to analyze your existing situation uh, it's a great time to renegotiate it's a great time to find bargains uh, where the seller doesn't know the true value of what they're selling and you're finding a true bargain then absolutely go in for it but don't make an over the top commitment in venusian areas which is relationship finances and any creative projects you uh you will be given an indication of where you've been sitting on the fence pluto doesn't like us sitting on the fence this is a very decisive new moon you'll be asked over the next two weeks to decide and get on one side of something get on one side of where you want to go or not Uh, whether you want to go with this person or not this is sort of getting off the fence on something that you've been dilly dallying or walking up and down on and not making up your mind this sort of forces you to do that but again not a new situation not a new relationship this is something you've been thinking about previously on 10th of september mercury moves into scorpio this is money on your mind and mind on your money uh, you're going to be thinking about money for next couple of weeks which has already been the theme of venus retrograde and now your intelligent mind is joining that creative sifter to find financial opportunities for you i love this energy for you because mercury is going to go wild as soon as it enters scorpio it is going to start making aspects to other planets and sudden events and ideas start coming to you this is very impulsive energy as well you'll be like suddenly instigating instigated to go all or nothing into a new scheme that you just saw because as soon as mercury moves into scorpio it starts making an aspect with uranus uranus wants you to find financial freedom it wants to create transformation in your financial situation and it starts making oppositions to your mind sudden brilliant ideas financial investment ideas how to make more money from your partnerships how to make more money uh, by better utilizing your partner's resources as well maybe there is some change sudden change in your partner's financial situation which forces you to start thinking on new money how to make new money so that is th- this is like great uh, ideation time uh, but it's very impulsive time you will be thinking way too quickly right now uh, impulsive speech impulsive decision impulsive uh, thinking all on financial aspects as i just mentioned with venus in retrograde do not sign a paper right now do not sign something new in terms of financial investment that's my request to you wait for november it is november is an excellent time energy is in your favor during that that time it's a very lucky time to make a new financial commitment Uh, but right now maybe not you also are expecting a expense in my view at the end of the month so it's not a good time to let some money go uh, at this time 
Mars is making a grand cross here. It's opposing Uranus. So you're getting some of these brilliant ideas, innovative ideas, which are definitely worth analyzing and looking into. And it is being squared by nodes. So they're karmic events happening around you, which is showing you what can you do to improve your financial situation. So look out for these signs that are coming you, your way. Uh, if you're creatively blocked, this is a release. This is like a switch. Uh, try the unexpected and you'll be unblocked during this time. That is the promise of Uranus. Venus will be here end of the month. So you will have time to intelligently analyze this before uh, you make a, a commitment by heart to this investment or to this new financial project that you're going for or this new resource that you're looking to invest into so uh, take take this time to logically analyze this uh, it this whole period from 10th to 14th is great ideation time and i think by 14th you would make up your mind because mercury is going to meet saturn the firming of the mind happens on 14th of october when mercury will meet saturn and all of this uh, creative juices flowing brilliant ideas coming sudden communications happening impulsive speech happening gets stabilized on 14th of october when mercury our mind meets the stabilizer saturn this is uh, creating a long-term stability for you this is getting the ideas that can create long-term financial stability for you and for your family there is a there is a limiting belief in your mind uh, which you have to let go now what risk you can or cannot take is something that you've been telling yourself for a long time um, this do I dare to be more financially or not do I dare to be more risk taker or not I mean this is this is your uh, as I said next two years you have to be bold this is not the time to sign anything but it is the time to be mentally bold right now you are um, letting the norm go this is a breakaway from the old when mercury meets uranus our mind meets uranus you are breaking away from old an opportunity an idea to break away from your old patterns comes through and you are asked to be more during this time on 10th of october there is a highly charged sexual energy when venus uh, sitting in our uh, self-worth meets in a hard aspect with mars which is just going after what gives you joy and pleasure uh, this is a time when you could be instigated into taking an impulsive call on relationships i'm warning you 10th of october is a very ig explosive impulsive day uh, do not take a call do not sign on anything do not go and declare your love for this new person that you've just met a day back <laughs> and uh, it's also a time where you crave excitement this excitement needs an outlet mars when it forms an hard aspect to a lovely planet like venus uh, in your ruler it needs an outlet it needs a physical outlet so either you go out and do something in terms of working out sexually working out or just find an outlet to your self-expression in some ways that will help you and satisfy you right now but at the same time use this excitement use this energy figure out what are the new things you can do because you want to retain the excitement part of this aspect not the impulsive and let's just uh, satisfy ourselves for the moment and fool's russian kind of energy this happened in the last uh, month around 8th of september as well but at that time venus was direct so when venus is direct you feel it as a fleeting thought uh, maybe have a one night stand kind of a thought process or let me quickly invest in a stock and get over with it on 8th of september might have come your mind but now venus is retrograde it's much slower moving so you feel it longer it lingers on for a couple of days you feel it around till from 9th to 12th of october So around 13th of October when moon is in Sagittarius and it makes a positive aspect to you, you start feeling a little bit better. I love 14th of October to have the 
talk because mercury will be conjunct venus this is constructive a uh, loving easy expression of values this is extremely good for negotiations for trading for renegotiation of financial contracts raising your rates asking for more money having a peaceful resolution of any financial dispute that you might be facing because your creative mind and your intelligent mind are combining together in a conjunction during this time this is socially also great it's great for creativity even coming up with a creative idea during this time because sun uh, in your sign is making a creative aspect with saturn so you are very disciplined in creating a creative idea using your physical hands using your mechanical ability this is no more in your mind you want to physically create something it could be a document it could be a communication it could be a new proposal uh it could be a creative project that you have been working on and you want to ask its right value so uh, you're fully fully engrossed in this because mercury is making a creative aspect with pluto this is an extremely positive time 14th 15th of october to ask for what you're looking for and this is not your first iteration there will be multiple iteration of it because mercury will be making further aspects going forward there'll be some renegotiations here venus will be coming at the end of the month again so take this as the first very productive step to reach where you want to reach financially